and gentlemen, and welcome to Grafton High School for this Central Division II playoff matchup between the 18-2 Grafton Indians and the 10-10 Hopkinton Hillers. The Hillers are the eighth seed. Grafton is the first seed. The Hillers hoping for a big upset here tonight as we are just moments away from tip-off, and we are ready for the starting lineup. So without further ado, we'll send it down to courtside for the introduction. Good evening, welcome to the Grafton High School Gymnasium for tonight's MIAA Central Division II quarterfinal game between the visiting Hopkinton Hillers and your Grafton Indians. Grafton High School has been awarded for the independence of this game that will be played under the MIAA sportsmanship policy, which includes the exposure rule for taunting, trash talking, big opponents, and for any gestures made for student athletes, coaches, officials, and scorekeepers. Grafton High School supports this policy and will enforce it. And now for tonight's start lineups. First, for the visiting Hillers, a junior number 15, Matt Cooper. sung national anthem by a Grafton student and we are just about ready for tip off in this Central Division II playoff matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Grafton Indians. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Hain on the call, John Ritz on camera, Grafton in their home white jerseys, dark green numbering and lettering, the Hillers in their away dark green jerseys with orange numbering and lettering and Steve, just about anything can happen in this Central Division II bracket. It is one of the most competitive brackets in the state, in my opinion. This is a tremendous challenge for the Hopkinton Hillers. This is 
a, a first-rate, outstanding Grafton team, and it's going to be tough for the Hillers. It is going to be the challenge of the year for them tonight. Elon Rosen in the center circle for the Hillers, up against Amara Utara. And Amara Utara, a player to look out for on Grafton. He averages 16.4 points per game. He has certainly put up some good performances this year. And Grafton controls off the opening tip with possession. That's Bergenholtz working against Mafiori. Grafton moving right to left across your screen. He'll fire it up top to Palmer. Now over to Utara, back to Palmer, launches the three. No good off the rim, and it's collected by Utara along the corner. He'll drive back in, up with the right hand. Great block underneath by Rosen. And now Finfrock takes it up, feeds it over to Ambrosoni, driving in around the defender, up with the left hand. No good, loose ball, and it's collected by Warner. Here comes Utara up court for Grafton. So a couple of good defensive series to start off this game. Utara launches a three just wide, loose ball. Collected by McInerney, drives back in, he's blocked. And now he'll put it up from the elbow, no good. And the Hillers have it, collected by Cooper. Nice block there by Finfrock. Ambrosoni takes it up court. The winner of this game goes on to take on the winner of Milford and Westboro. That game happening tomorrow night over at Milford High School. Mafiori. Feeds it up top to Cooper, around the top of the perimeter they go. Ambrosoni launches a three, no good, just wide. Put back, and a great feed over to Rosen, up and in. He goes for the first points of the game. Good pass by Cooper. Full court pressure, as you would expect, by a coach keen defense. Along the far side, oh. Palmer, and it's stolen away. Quick break to the bucket. Cooper off the window and in, plus the foul. Great instinct by Cooper anticipating that pass. That front, that full court press is, is working so far for the Hillers tonight. They get Bradley Palmer with the foul. An and one opportunity for the junior. A good start for the Hillers, up four to nothing. 6.24 left to go in the first quarter. Great crowd on hand for both sides here today. No good on the and one, rebound Utara. Along the far side, McInerney, back to Utara he goes. Utara driving in, feeds it over to the corner, up for three, no good, is Palmer, and then we get a foul on Grafton on the rebound attempt, and it's going to be against Nolan Warner, that's his first. Yeah, Finfrock did a great job of boxing out, establishing position, and then he drew the foul and going back down to the Hiller's way. Finfrock into Ambrosoni. Ambrosoni running the point for the Hillers. Drives in, feeds it over to Mafiori. Mafiori down the lane, up for the jumper, Ooh. he's denied. And is going to stick with the possession. A nice job by Mafiori, sticking with it, even though McInerney got the block there, and he'll drive in, draw some contact. Perhaps some early foul trouble for Grafton. They're gonna get Bergenholtz with the push. That's good focus by Mafiori. He got blocked. That could have thrown him off a bit, but he stayed with the play, got his own rebound, and the, and the possession continues for the Hillers. Both of these teams lost in the first round of the playoffs last year, so they definitely have high hopes for this season. Some good experience on both rosters. Finfrock back to Ambrosoni. The question is for the Hillers, will they be on shooting-wise tonight? Ambrosoni up, no good. Mm. And it's a Grafton rebound. Bergenholtz there to collect, and here comes Utara. Utara working down the lane, feeds it out. Now back to the corner to Palmer. He'll drive along the baseline, up and in. Ooh, that was too easy for Palmer. He saw the lane on the baseline. He cut up with the left hand and in. Palmer averages 7.7 .7 points per game. He'll be another player to look out for. Finfrock, no good there. And it's batted around, collected underneath by Warner. He'll feed it over to Utara, who will quickly take it up court. Utara, all kinds of speed, takes it in, up and good. Utara has been pushing it every single time he gets the ball, and that time it paid off for him. Ambrosoni working up court for the Hillers as Grafton has quickly tied things up at four apiece. 452 and counting left to go in the quarter. Finfrock feeds it out to Mafiori. Mafiori going to call it out. Takes it down the lane, spins around the defender, up and good. What, what a sweet move. Oh, a skillful move, Tom. That was pretty. Nice job, Mafiori. Grafton working against the press. Palmer over to Bergenholtz, now McInerney. Feeds it to the corner to Warner, now it's up top. Three attempt, no good by Bergenholtz. Collected by Ambrosoni. Over to Mafiori. 
And he's going to be called for the travel. So far, the shots are not falling for Grafton, and uh, the Hillers have to be aware of their perimeter defense, not letting them get such easy looks because those may go in sooner than later. And the Hillers students section is packed to the brim here. Great turnout on both sides for this playoff matchup. Bergenholtz works it up to McInerney. Feeds it up top over to Bergenholtz. Now it's Palmer launching the three, no good. Off the back iron, it's collected by Warner. Oh. And trying to feed it up top, stolen away by Ambersoni. Quick break up the court, around the defender, no good. And it's collected by Palmer. Ambersoni a little bit out of control on that one. Ambersoni has a whole lot of hustle, but sometimes he has to slow it down a little bit before he puts that shot up. Palmer feeds it up top. McInerney trying to drive down. We have contact. Looks like we'll have the first Hillers foul. Or will we? Yes, it was it, a it'll foul. It'll be on Cooper. I like the way the Hillers are getting in those Grafton passing lanes so far. They're really anticipating the passes, and they're making some steals, and they're making Grafton really hustle for every possession. Couple key players on Grafton. You got Amari Utara averaging 16.4 points per game. Ethan McInerney, 13.5, and Drew Bergenholtz, 13.7. Those will be three guys to look out for tonight. As Bergenholtz feeds it into Palmer. Palmer passes over to McInerney. We'll make that Bergenholtz, rather. Up top over to Warner. Now McInerney along the wing. He'll launch the three. Off the back iron, no good, and it's collected by Sarapusco. And Mac Coach Keene has them playing some hard man-to-man -man defense so far. They're running with them tonight, Tom. They certainly are. Mafiori up to Ambersoni. And Coach Keene teaches a very aggressive style of defense. And these Hillers have defended well throughout the season. Up for three, no good. Off the side of the bucket goes Keith, and here comes Utara. Utara right down the lane, up, no good, and there's a foul. Yeah, on the floor, reach and foul before Utara went for the shot. That is not a shooting foul. It'll be uh, Grafton possession underneath their own basket. They get Ambersoni with the reach in. Bergenholtz on the entry. Utara with the shot, and it's no good. Batted around by Finfrock, and he collects. Ambersoni will take it up. Trying to feed it over to Sarapusco, stolen away by Warner. Back and forth we go as Bergenholtz works up the court. It's been a defensive affair so far. 225 left to go in the first, six to four Hillers. Warner up top feeds it over to Bergenholtz. Bergenholtz drives in, up for the shot, no good. It'll rattle out, collected by Ambersoni. Good defense by Maffiori, forcing a tough shot. Maffiori feeds it over to Keith, now back to Ambersoni, Finfrock. Ambersoni now coming in. Feeds it over to Keefe, up for three. No, it'll rattle out. Collected by Finfrock. Feeds it over to Sarapusco, trying to drive in. He lost it, it was stripped out by a defender. Here comes Utara. Good hands by Palmer on the defense. Feeds it over to McInerney, now back to Utara. Along the baseline, and we're gonna have a foul. It's gonna be against Ambersoni, that's his second. Team third for the Hillers. Ambrosoni will come out for a little break. Ambrosoni was so close to drawing the charge. He got to his spot, but a moment too late. And Utara draws the blocking foul. Palmer feeds it in and up for the shot. Bergenholtz, no good. Here comes the Hillers. Maffiori able to work past the reach of Bergenholtz. Down the lane, and he's blocked. And it is collected by Rosen, and he puts it in. Those offensive rebounds are what you need if you're the Hillers, and Rosen executed beautifully on that one. Utara trying to strike back, and he oh. does. He's so quick to the basket. Four points for Amara Utara. Mafiori takes it up for the Hillers. Lost oh. it, collected by Bergenholtz. Feeds it over, here comes Palmer, taking it to the rack, up and in he goes. It's an eight to eight game, one minute left to go in the first quarter. Mafiori gonna slow things down. That was four points for the Grafton in the span of about 20 seconds. So far, it's looking like a pretty even matchup. Rosen up, and the foul. 
An and one opportunity for the senior, Elon Rosen. And Elon Rosen, not only is he excelling in basketball, but also uh, science and engineering at the recent Hopkinson High School Science and Engineering Fair. Elon Rosen and his teammate qualified for the regionals at WPI. So big congratulations to Elon and all the other Hopkinton High School students that qualified. He's at the line to try to complete an and one, but the official at the scores table confirming something. And there's a proud tradition of student athletes at Hopkinton High School, and it's great to hear stories like that. Kids working hard on and off the court. A 10 to eight lead for the Hillers, 45 seconds left. Rosen trying to put him up by three. Count it. That was an answer that they really needed because they had just squandered a lead. Now they go back up by three points. Bergenholtz takes it up for Grafton. Works over to the wing, over to McInerney. And he dribbled mm. out of bounds. Hillers basketball with 30 seconds left. The only common opponent between these two is Westboro. The Hillers lost both games. They met up with Westboro. Grafton beat Westboro in the only game that they played against them this season. Rosen turns around up and in. Looking like Kevin McHale on that one. Great stride, pivot up and off the glass. That's a flashback. Bergenholtz. Over to Palmer. Maybe he'll get a new nickname out of you. Utara for three, got it. Woo! Mara Utara right at the buzzer. After one quarter of play, it's Hopkinton 13, Grafton 11. We have ourselves a ball game. Impressive stuff out there on the hardwood of Grafton High School tonight. Second quarter coming up next. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Basketball on HCAM. Meet. The scan, a simple procedure whose mission is to detect lung cancer early. I'm here to save you. But I feel fine. That's great, but you may still be at high risk for lung cancer. Oh man, that's a new fence. If you smoke, early detection could save your life. Learn more at savedbythescan.org. Just about ready for the second quarter. A back and forth start to this game. The Hillers leading 13 to 11 after one quarter of play. And that is in large part due to Elon Rosen who already has nine points for the Hillers. Impressive stuff out of Elon. Amara Utara with seven for Grafton and Bradley Palmer with four. The other two scores for the Hillers, Matt Cooper and Steven Maffiori with two apiece. And Rosen has also gotten some key rebounds for the Hillers. They're going to need to control the glass if they're going to beat this incredibly impressive Grafton Indians team. Ambersoni with possession. Feeds it over to Cooper. Thought about the three. Feeds it into Rosen instead. Down the lane, Ooh. off the window and in. Count it. Picking up the full court pressure. Right now, if you're the Hillers, give the ball to Elon Rosen. He's on a roll. Here comes Utara trying to respond. And he lost it. Yep. Hillers basketball. Clyde's with Ambersoni, and Ambersoni's shooken up. Ooh, certainly hope he's okay. He's grabbing that left leg. And we certainly hope that it's not too serious. They're going to bring the coach out to check on Tommy Ambersoni. But that was a hard collision between Amara Utara and Ambersoni, Steve. That was, and the full court pressure by the Hillers, you know, forced Utara to really push the ball hard down the floor, and then he kind of lost possession of the ball, kind of lost control, and when he did, there was that inadvertent collision, and hopefully the young man is okay. And he is walking off the court, mostly under his own power, so that's a good sign. A 15 to 11 lead for the Hillers. Certainly does have a bit of a limp. We'll see if he gets back out there tonight. You hope it's just a Charlie horse or something innocuous like that where it just takes a moment to, for him to recuperate a well, little bit. Well, if there's one thing I could say about Tommy Ambersoni, he's one of the toughest Hiller athletes I've seen. Mm. Maffiori working up court. Down the lane, around the defender, and he oh. can't finish, but there's Elon Rosen. Elon Rosen dominating the low post early on in this game. 
Palmer, Bergenholtz, now McInerney. Oh, stripped away, Finfrock on a break. Here he goes to the bucket, and he regathers, feeds it back, up goes oh. Keefe, no good, and it's collected by Palmer. Oh, Cooper just rushed the shot a little bit. He had a nice rebound and maybe overthought it a little bit. Grafton's going to take a timeout, a 17-11 Hillers lead. 7.02 left to go in the second quarter. And how about a 4-0 lead to start off this second quarter for the Hillers, Steve? Good stuff. The Hillers are playing some remarkable basketball right now. They are serious underdogs here tonight, and they have really come out and behind the skill of Rosen, both scoring and rebounding, they have really controlled this first half. Well, what did I say in the beginning? Anything can happen in the Central Division II bracket. Whew. Obviously a long way to go, and this Grafton team, they're certainly not going to go away. This is going to be a game that goes down to the wire. Two very good teams out there on the hardwood tonight. Let's take a look at the rest of the bracket. So I mentioned earlier the winner of this game goes on to take on the winner of Milford and Westboro. That game tomorrow night at Milford High School, 6.30 tip-off. The other two games are both tomorrow night as well. You got second-seeded Medway against seventh-seeded Neshoba and third-seeded Groton Dunstable against six-seeded Wayland. On the entry for Grafton is Bergenholtz. This arena is absolutely packed. You love to see that. I mean, the stands are just full from, from top to bottom on both sides of the, uh, the bench. It's playoff basketball at its finest. Palmer trying to work past Maffiori, able to get it over to Bergenholtz. Fires it to the corner, up for a three. McInerney got it. It was only a matter of time before McInerney hit one of those shots. Nice three-point stroke. Maffiori works it up court. Feeds it over to Cooper, back to Maffiori. Out to Cooper. And now here comes Rosen along oh. the baseline, up and in. The Indians' defense has no answer thus far for Rosen. Feed Elon, that's all I could say. Palmer. Bergenholtz. Up to Utara. Utara working in. Takes it to the rack. No good off the rim. Rebound Finfrock. Great defense by Rosen. Altering the shot by Utara. Maffiori feeds it to Finfrock. Oh. Long three. Off the back iron. No good. And it's whistled out of play. That's always unfortunate. The ball bounced so hard off of the iron that it went up and hit the portion of the basket above, rendering it out of bounds. Just an unlucky break. Bergenholtz into Palmer. Here comes Utara. And Utara mm. draws contact from Finfrock, says the official. Boy, you love the Hiller's instinct to, to really put on that full court press, but when you've got a guy as quick and skillful as Utara, he's a one-man press break all by himself. Substitution for Grafton, Charles Boder, the junior, into the game to inbound. Boder into Bergenholtz. Over to Boder. Now up to McInerney. Back to Boder. Along the baseline, feeds it out to Utara. Boder, up for three. No good off the rim. A rebound Grafton as there was Warner. And he'll feed it out. We got to travel on Boder. Yep. Hillers inbound with 5.33 left to go in the first half. A 19-14 Hillers lead. Tom Nappy, Steve Hain, happy to be on the call with you at Grafton High School. John Ritz on camera. First round of the Central Division II sectional playoffs as Maffiori takes it up court. Maffiori up top. Feeds it over to Keith. Now Rosen working to the bucket, and that time Utara going to strip it away. Utara takes it up, launches a long two, and it's in. Yeah, it was a two, and the referee correctly called it a two. His foot was on the line. I was worried about that, if they were going to correctly call it a yeah, two. Yeah, he was awfully close. Keith, back to Maffiori. Driving down Sarapusco, and he took that little step. That's a travel. Yeah, Sarapusco a little bit eager there. He, his eyes were bigger than the basket. Well, one thing you could tell about Coach Keene's strategy, he's trying to get the height into the low post, especially 
with Rose and Sarah Pusco playing a lot of minutes together. Bergenholtz spins around the defender up for the shot. And it's waved off, but it looks like we have a foul. Yeah, I believe they get Finn Frock with the reach. They're going to get Matt Fiore. Matt Fiore. And, uh, you know, Coach Keene is wise to understand that, that you know, you got to control the glass. And the Hillers are doing a great job of boxing out. The Indians have gotten some offensive rebounds because of the erratic bounce of the ball. McInerney feeds it over to Bergenholtz. And a pass into the interior, and we get a whistle here. That's the sixth team foul on the Hillers. they got to be careful because the next foul will put the Indians at the line. They get Elon Rosen with his first. Bergenholtz feeds it out to Boder. Now Utara driving in, up, and he oh. slams it down. Oh, boy. And that brings the crowd to their feet. Wow. Powerful slam by Utara. It's the first slam I've seen all season, Steve. Woo. Matt Fiore works it into Finfrock. Up for three is Keith, no good. Collected by Utara. A 19 to 18 Hillers lead, 4.02 and counting left to go in the second quarter. Woo! Bergenholtz, Utara. Utara trying to drive in once again, feeds it out. Boder for three, no good. And rebound Finfrock. The Hillers need to respond just in, in terms of getting the momentum back. Utara lit this place up with that dunk. Miss on the three attempt by Finfrock. Here comes Rosen, kicks it out to Finfrock. And he'll drive in, call for the travel. Mm. A little pivot step he took through the whistle. Yeah, the Hillers have been guilty of that infraction a few times tonight. They're just a little bit too excited. Going to lay back, put the ball on the ground before they make their move to the basket. Bergenholtz on the entry. Grafton looking for their first lead of the night. Palmer. Over to Warner. Now Utara for three. No. Collected by Maffiori. Maffiori on a quick break. Feeds it over to Cooper. Drive it in around the defender. Up for the shot. No good. And it's knocked out of bounds. Grafton basketball. Yeah. Bergenholtz into Palmer. Over to McInerney. Back over to Palmer for three. No good off the back iron. And it is collected by Keith. And good box out by Rosen to create the space for Keith to get that rebound. Oh, we're going to have a foul here. Contact from Utara. And Utara's fortunate uh, to not be whistled for a foul. They're going to wow. call it out of bounds because... Well, he got away with one yeah. there. Matt Fiore thought about it. Drives in, feeds it out to Cooper. Up for three. No, off the rim. Ooh. Rebound, Keith. Put back. No. A tip by Rosen. No. And it's oh, collected by Utara. Utara takes it up court, launches it over to the corner to Palmer. Up for three. No, off the rim. And off for oh. Rosen, out of bounds. A mishandle by Elon. 2.25 left to go in the second quarter. A 19-18 Hillers lead. Grafton threatening for their first lead, but first we're going to have a timeout by Coach Petritus for the Grafton Indians. Well, it has been back and forth momentum shifts throughout the first half of this game, and it's been really all Elon Rosen in the second quarter for the Hillers. He has all three field goals. Elon Rosen's been impressive, but they have to really get the momentum back. That dunk by Utara, just if you could see the, the scene in here, and you can on the, on the live stream, boy, that Grafton crowd has just come to life. You can feel the energy. You can hear the electricity in the air. And the Hillers really need to get, they need to get momentum back, Tom. They certainly do. And they try to open up the outside game. They had a couple three attempts, but... So far, no luck from outside the perimeter for the Hillers, so I think they just have to keep trying to work that low post, get the tall guys in there, and see if Elon can do some more damage. Elon Rosen with 15 points so far tonight. And for the Indians, uh, Coach Petritus, he's got his, his, uh, his whiteboard up there in, his, in the palm of his hand. He's trying to create some new offensive strategies, run some different plays, and let's see if the Indians can capitalize on his timeout instruction. 
Bergen Holtz on the inbound. Feeds it over to Hannah. Up to Utara. Down the lane he goes, and it looks like we have a foul. It looks like they're going to get Finfrock. Yeah, the Hillers, they need to play defense with their feet. They've got to cut the lane off for Utara, and as a result, he gets to the line. They're now in the bonus, one and one, coming. Omara so Utara, a chance to tie up this game. And perhaps take the lead. On the front end, he hits. He has 12 points so far tonight for Grafton. Knotted up at 19 apiece. For the lead, it's good. Fiori will take it up. Over to Cooper. Back to Mafiori. Keith now. Rosen driving in around the defender, up and in he goes. Good pivot move by Rosen and Coach Petritus asking for a travel, but that was good pivot work. 17 points so far for Rosen. Palmer out to Utara. Back to Palmer. Thought about three, drives in, up for the shot, no good. Collected by Rosen, and then he ends up out of bounds. But they're going to call it out off of Grafton. I believe it was Hannah who got in there. It looked the to me like Rosen got pushed, and that was another foul that uh, they got away with on the Indians end. Mafiori takes it up. Down the lane, spins around the defender, up, and oh. no good, but a foul. He's heading to the line for a pair. Nice spin move and a little dipsy do almost got the and one. Going to the line for two shots. They get Drew Bergenholtz with his second. Team fifth for Grafton. First of two, count it. Hiller is back on top, 21 to 20. 135 left to go in the second quarter. Second of two. No. Mm. Utara there to collect. Manning driving in. Feeds it out. Thinking about the three Palmer. He'll take it in instead. Up to the shot. No good. And Ambrosoni wins the battle for the rebound. Way to get position. Ambrosoni. Nice job. Feeds it out to Cooper. Driving in from the elbow. No good off the rim. And it is going to be collected by Keith. Kicks it out to Ambrosoni. Now Mafiori for three. No good air ball, out of bounds, Grafton ball. Well, that would have been a big momentum shift if you hit that bucket. And the crowd gets on Mafiori a little bit. He just shakes it off and gets back to playing some defense. That's the way to be. Drive it in, Manning. And he is just going to run into a pair of hillers, and it's taken away by Cooper. Quick break, feeds it out to Keefe, and Keefe knocks it down. Big answer by Keith. They needed that. Get the momentum back with 45 seconds to go in this first half. And look out for Brian Keith when he gets hot from outside the perimeter. It could be deadly. Hannah for three. No good. Ambersoni collects. Ambersoni takes it up out to Rosen. Mm. Down the lane. They're going to get him with a travel. I don't know about that one. That was awfully close, but. Uh the one area the, the Hillers could really improve, and maybe Coach Keen will refer to this at the half, is they've got to cut back on the turnovers. They're giving the ball to the Indians needlessly. Manning takes it up for the Indians. Five-point Hillers lead. Feeds it over to Warner, and Warner trying to feed it back to Utara. Nearly slow away by Mafiori down the lane. Up and in. What a move by Utara. He certainly has the moves. Mafiori takes it up. Five seconds of counting left to go. Down the lane, up for the shot. Got it! Oh, big bucket. And at the buzzer, it's going to fall short from McInerney. And after one half of play, it's the Hopkinton Hillers leading the Grafton Indians 27 to 22. Steve, it started off in Grafton's favor at the beginning of that second quarter, but it was certainly a great comeback towards the end of the quarter by the Hillers, courtesy of Elon Rosen, Keith knocking down the three, and of course, Mafiori with the bucket right at the end. Well, if I'm the Hillers, I have to be at once incredibly pleased with the score, 27-22, and, and, and proud of the team, but they also have to 
come out in the second half with resolve and tenacity because you get the sense that the Indians are going to go on a run and the Hillers will have to respond. This Grafton team is too good not to do so. So hopefully Coach Keen will prepare them for the second half in that manner. Well, at the half, it is Hopkinton leading Grafton 27 to 22. We'll take a timeout. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Playoff Basketball on HCAN. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back to Grafton High School. We are just about ready for the second half. As we enter the second half, it's the Hopkinton Hillers leading Grafton 27 to 22. Certainly a lot of momentum shifts in that first half. The Hillers outscored Grafton in the first quarter 13 to 11. And then in the second quarter, 14 to 11. Let's take a look at the scoring total so far. Amara Utaro with 15 for Grafton. He's the team leader. Ethan McInerney with three. Bradley Palmer with four for the Hillers. It's been Elon Rosen. He has 17 points. Steven Maffiori with five. Ella Spar with two. And Brian Keefe with three. And we are ready for the third quarter. It was a big three, by, or a big bucket by Maffiori right at the end of the second quarter to give the Hillers a little spark heading into the locker room. And we shall see how they respond in the second half. Winner of this game moves on to the quarterfinals to take on the winner of Milford and Westboro. Drew Bergenholtz will have the entry for Grafton from the far side. Grafton in the white jerseys. The Hillers in their away green. Yeah, and Bergenholtz could get it going. He doesn't have any points yet, but he averages 13.7 a game. So he'll be key for the Indians if they're to get back in this ball game. Tom Nappy, Steve Hayne, happy to be with you on the call. John Ritz on camera. Three attempt. No good off the back iron. Tipped by Utara, and putting it back and in is Nolan Warner. Good strong put back by Warner. Hillers need to have those defensive rebounds. Ambersoni takes it up. Maffiori back to Ambersoni. Over to Keith. Feeds it in to Rosen, around the defender, up and good. Nice touch. Hits the rim, rolls around a bit, gets in the basket. Here comes Palmer. Feeds it over to McInerney, back to Palmer. Over to Warner. Here comes Palmer drive it in, out to Utara. He'll launch the three, no good. Little short there, collected by Maffiori. Feeds it up to Cooper, back to Maffiori. Ambersoni, Finfrock. Over to Cooper, along the baseline, over to Rosen. He goes up, count it! Boy, when he leaves his feet, he goes up with a head of steam, and he is unstoppable when he gets into the midair. 21 points for Elon Rosen. Palmer driving in. Launches it from the elbow, no good. Good and boxing out. Certainly was. Ooh. Collected by Rosen. Here comes Ambersoni. Hiller is up by seven. 6.22 and counting, left to go in the third quarter. Maffiori. Ambersoni. Finfrock. Over to Cooper. Now the corner to Maffiori. Back to Cooper. Ambersoni now. Over to the corner, Cooper for three. No, off the back iron, collected by Utara. Utara gonna take it up quickly. Coast to coast, but no good. Mm. Finfrock with the rebound. Maffiori gonna rush down the lane, lost it, over to Rosen, off the glass, no good. Pulled down by Warner. Fortuitous bounce to Rosen, he just can't kiss it off the glass. Palmer launches the three. No, off the back iron. And then we have a foul on the rebound. And that is going to be against Grafton. They're going to get Drew Bergenholtz with the contact on Maffiori. Bergenholtz came flying in from nowhere to try to attempt that rebound, but he got 
called for the foul in the process. Good effort by Bergenholz, however. That's his third foul. Team first for the half. Ambersoni takes it up. Over to Cooper, back to Ambersoni. Feeds it in Finfrock. Oh. Rosen finishes. Elon Rosen. The right-handed lay-in, and the Hillers fans are loving it. Six points in the third quarter for Rosen, 23 overall. And this brings the Hopkinton crowd, the visiting crowd, to their feet, and they're as animated as they have been all night. So, boy, Coach Keen has them coming out with a strong start of this third quarter. The Hillers up 33 to 24 as Grafton had to take a timeout. 5:18 left to go. And right now, momentum in the Hillers' favor, and I've been saying it all game. Feed Rosen. Feed Rosen, and you know, Rosen, he just, he goes up with so much power. When you get him the ball at the post or in the lane, you know, he just, he, he's a very formidable presence, and Grafton has no defensive answer for him. And then on the Hillers' defensive end, they've done a good job this quarter so far keeping Utara outside. Don't let him get to the lane, because he can go with a head of steam, and he can really beat you easily get into the basket. So far for Elon, he had nine points in the first quarter, eight in the second. So far in this third quarter, with 5.18 still left to go, he has six. Seven, 23 overall for Rosen. Bergenholtz takes it up for Grafton. Feeds it to the corner, and now Upredi drives in, kicks it out, up for three, and good is Palmer. Cool, calm, and collected. Big shot by Palmer for the Indians. Amber Sony works it across. Over to the corner to Rosen. Finfrock. Rosen trying to set up underneath. Finfrock drives in. Up and draws the foul. Bergenholz is frustrated. He thought he got a block, and he did, but he got it with the body as well. That's a good call by the official. Sid Upredi with his first foul. Finfrock at the line. Finfrock scoreless so far. We'll see if he could change that now. Miller is up by six, make it seven. 34 to 27, 445 left to go in the third quarter. Finfrock with a chance to add another. No. Oh. Almost fell in. And here comes Utara. Feeds into the corner, sit up for the three. No good off the rim, and it's collected by Rosen. Ambersoni will take it down. Mafiori driving in around the defender, up for the shot, no good. Collected by Warner. Utara taking it up for Grafton, feeds it over. Along the baseline goes Palmer. Now to Bergenholtz. Bergenholtz driving in, had nowhere to go Ooh. with it. And we get a jump ball call. It'll go in favor of the Hillers. Yeah, Bergenholtz had a nifty spin move, got to the lane, but good defense by Finfrock and his teammates. Two Hillers were right on him. Gets the jump ball, possession arrow, Hillers. Ooh, stolen away by Bergenholtz, but the Hillers gonna regain possession as Bergenholtz with the errant flip to Utara. And Ambersoni goes to the floor. Great play by Ambersoni. That's the kind of hustle they need tonight. That's pretty typical of Ambersoni. Great hustle. Ambersoni driving in behind the back. Over to Rosen. Down the lane, around the defender, uh, up. And the shot is waved off. They're going to get him with the elbow. Yeah, he pushed off. He did. Second foul on Rosen. On the entry, Bradley Palmer. He's so strong, he's got so much power, but he just uh, used a little too much of it that time, clearing out the defender. Upredi back to Palmer. Now over to Bergenholtz. Over to Upredi. Driving in, great pass off the window and in goes Warner. Sweet feed by Upredi, seeing the floor, getting it to the guy in the low post. I mean, fantastic assist for Upredi. Utaro was going for the steal, but Finfrock wasn't having any of that. Ambersoni to Rosen. Rosen to the bucket, falls to the ground. Fans looking for a foul, Mafiori, Ambersoni. Nice job by Rosen getting that pass out. Ambersoni for three, no good. It'll rattle out, collected by Utara, and here he comes. And 
poked out, but we have a foul. They're going to get Matt Cooper with his second. Cooper got all ball. He knows that he's frustrated, but he wisely <laughs> throws up his hands, but he keeps going down the court in a show of uh, restraint. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think there needs to be clear evidence of there being physical contact player to player if you're going to blow that whistle. Yeah, Cooper picked his pocket. The referee just happened to miss that one. Hiller is going to take a timeout. 3.06 left to go in the third quarter. Hopkinton leading Grafton 34 to 29. And Steve, I have a feeling this game is going to go down to the final seconds the way these momentum shifts keep occurring. Well, the Hillers were up by as much as by as many as nine points, and then out of a timeout, there was a huge three-point shot by, I believe, uh, Bradley Palmer for the Indians. That was a huge shot in retrospect because they're back to within five points here with 3.06 left in the third quarter. And one of the things that seems to be working for Grafton is getting two defenders in front of Rosen. That has been more effective for the Indians. Uh, but also Rosen has gotten some key rebounds. He's played a great game. And I think uh, Coach Petritus for the Indians knows they have to focus more attention on Rosen when he gets the basketball. And I'm sure that's what they'll be working on throughout the remainder of this game. Off the timeout, 3.06 left to go in the third. Hiller's up 34 to 29. This game's been a pretty balanced game. Good amount of offense and some very good defense on both sides. Pretty on the entry. Feeds it over to Bergenholtz. Driving in around the defender, up, count it. Bergenholtz puts Grafton within three. Finfrock, Maffiori, tips it over to Ambersoni. And it's stripped away. Here comes Palmer. Palmer, coast to coast, to the rack, up and in, plus the foul. Yeah. The Grafton fans are loving it. That brings the Grafton crowd to its feet. And uh, unfortunately for Ambersoni, he got his pocket pick trying to make the interior pass on his end of the floor. Chance to tie for Bradley Palmer, who has nine points so far tonight for Grafton. Amber Sony will come out of the game for the moment. Drew Rankatori back in for the Hillers. On the and one, no good off the back iron, and Rosen there to collect. Here comes Finfrock. Feeds it back to Maffiori. Maffiori over to Rosen. Rosen up, no good. Swats it out, but it's collected by Utara. Tough angle for Rosen. He was a little bit too deep in the post when he went up for that one. Feeds it over to Upredi. Now to the corner to Palmer. Kicks it over to Upredi. Pretty driving in, fakes out the defender, up, off the oh. window, no good, collected by Finfrock. That would have been a sweet finish there. That hung on the rim for about a second and a half and then rolled off to the Hiller's benefit. It was a nice move that tricked two defenders but could not finish. Rankatori back to Rosen. Rosen surrounded by defenders, kicks it out to Maffiori, up for three, got it! Oh. That's huge shot by Maffiori, especially seeing as how Rosen is now being double teamed, as you point out, Tom. The other Hillers have to step up and get that kind of offense that Maffiori is providing. Eight points for Maffiori so far in this game. Here comes Utara. Oh. Great feed over to the block, and Warner finishes. Around the world and dishes to his teammate for the easy bucket. Utara, skillful. The two-point Hillers lead. Finfrock stripped away. Rosen is there to pick it up, but gets wrapped up with Upredi. And we're going to have a foul. They'll get Sid Upredi with his second. Good sportsmanship there between Rose and Upredi slapping hands after that hard foul. Both these teams certainly playing hard because it's win or go home. Finfrock to Keith. Keith for three. No. Falls out. Tipped by Rose and Upredi collects. 113 and counting left to go in the third. A two point Hillers lead. Over to Palmer driving in. Feeds it over to Upredi. Upredi steps back, takes the shot, knocks it down. Stop, pop, swish. Nothing but net. 
Mafiori. Too many defenders around him. Loose ball along the near side. And Keith got wrapped up with Palmer, but it will go Grafton's way on the jump ball call. Thirty-seven all with fifty-four seconds left to go in the third. And for the first time, perhaps all game, Tom, or certainly since the first quarter, the Indians have a chance to take the lead on this possession. You pretty on the entry. Feeds it into Bergenholtz. Back to you pretty. Launches the three. No good. Oh. And it's off the hand of Amber Sony, collected by Warner. Warner trying to feed it over to the block, and it's stolen away by Amber Sony. What hustle by Amber Sony. Ooh. Never Matt. giving up on the play. He certainly never does. Maffiori back to Ambersoni. 30 seconds and counting left to go in the quarter. Finfrock for three. No. Finfrock collects. Out to Maffiori. who will launch a three. No good. And it is going to be knocked down by Rankatori. Loose ball along the near side. And Rosen is going to get wrapped up with Nolan Warner. And we're going to have a foul in the process. It'll be against the Hillers. They're going to get Elon Rosen with his third. Well, Elon Rosen entering dangerous territory with three fouls. 37 apiece, 18 seconds left to go in the third. Palmer takes it up for Grafton. Feeds it over to Bergenholtz. Bergenholtz, long three, no. And it is going to be collected by Warner. Drives down the lane, kicks it to the corner. Palmer for three, no good. And Brekatori there for the board. And that'll do it for the third quarter. What a quarter of play that was. We are knotted up at 37 apiece, heading to the final eight minutes. Stay tuned, folks. You are not going to want to miss the conclusion of this game. You are watching Hopkins and Hiller's Boys Varsity Playoff Basketball on HCAM. My graduation was something I will never forget. People like you and me sometimes may have doubts in yourself, but I feel that everything's possible. Find free adult education classes near you at finishyourdiploma.org. Welcome back to Grafton High School. We are ready for the final eight minutes of regulation. The Hopkinton Hillers, the Grafton Indians, knotted up at 37 apiece as we start this final frame. Who will advance? We shall find out. Boy, you can see during that timeout, both coaches with equal intensity down in front of their teams, imploring them to stick to the fundamentals and encouraging them to do their very best in this final quarter of play. Bergen Holtz feeds you pretty. Over to Palmer. And now to Utara. Utara steps back, takes the three. No good off the side of the hoop. Finfrox there, but cutting him off was Upredi, and then it's batted around, and Maffiori collects along the baseline. Here comes Ambersoni. Ambersoni going to drive down. Ambersoni down the lane, trying yes. to go off for the shot, draws the foul from Upredi. The way that he used his body was what allowed him to draw the foul even though the shot appeared to be rejected and that's what the Grafton fans are responding to but a good call by the official. Third foul on Upredi. Ambersoni at the line for two. For the lead, got it. 38-37 Hillers. Winner of this game advances to take on the winner of Tomorrow night's Milford and Westboro game. Got it. Hiller's up by two. Palmer into Bergenholtz. Over to Palmer. Upredi feeds it over to Warner. Back out to Upredi. Back to Palmer. Palmer thought about the three. Upredi feeds it over. Up for three. Bergenholtz, no good. And Finfrock's there to collect. Shot clock was running low on Grafton. Maffiori takes it up. Stripped away by Upredi. Rosen's there. Up with the reverse. No good. Upredi with the rebound. A little too strong off the glass. Bergen holds up to Utara. Utara drives in. Bumps oh. into the defender. Oh. And I think we're going to have an offensive charge. Boy, outstanding defense by Emperor Sony. Great job getting to his spot. That's the kind of hustle he brings. He was there before Utara went into him. Got the charge. Second foul on Utara, Hiller's basketball. 
6.54 left to go in the fourth. Hiller's up by two. Ooh. Mafiori surrounded by defenders. Oh. And he stepped out. Grafton basketball. Yeah, Finfrock just made a mistake by passing it to Mafiori, who was kind of stuck in the corner there. And he tried to turn the corner. Foot went on the line, out of bounds. Turnover to the Indians. Pretty on the entry. Utara. Utara driving in. Up with the hook shot. No good. Collected by Rosen. Amber Sony will take it up. Feeds it over to Cooper. Back out to Finfrock. Long three. No. Rosen collects. Who else but Rosen? Rebounding machine. Mafiori. Driving in. Feeds Rosen. Along the baseline, he dribbled out. He drew the blocking foul. Fortunately for Rosen, he appeared to be on the line, but he draws the block before then. He'll take it. We'll get Nolan Warner with his second. Hiller is on the inbound. You know, Tom, I've noticed that in this uh, fourth quarter, the Hillers have gone under Coach Keene to a zone defense. They were playing hard man-to-man -man early, but now they're, for some reason, they're playing zone. We'll see how that does for them going down the stretch. Rosen will have the entry after the officials wipe up the court. 6.19 left to go in the fourth. Hillers leading 39-37. Rosen, Finfrock, long three, no, collected by Warner. Boy, you like Finfrock's confidence. He's getting, he's getting good shots and they're just rolling, rimming out. Finfrock does not have a field goal yet in this game. You pretty for three, no good off the back iron and it's collected by Finfrock. Nice strong rebound. Amber Sony takes it up, feeds it over to Cooper, back to Amber Sony. Now over to Finfrock, now Mafiori for three. Count it! <laughs> Off the glass from nearly the baseline. You rarely see that, but nice shot by Mafiori. Hiller is up by five. Mafiori with 11 points. Oh. And an errant pass. Out of bounds it goes. A little too much yeah. mustard on the pass from Bergenholtz. Yeah, Bergenholtz is a little bit frustrated tonight, and he just made a mistake there. And you can tell from his body language, he's, he's trying to find his rhythm. Cooper on the inbound. Amber Sony, surrounded by defenders, gets it out to Mafiori. Long pass down to Cooper for three. Count it! Ooh. Matt Cooper knocks it down! The junior comes through big and the Hillers are up by eight. Grafton needs a timeout with 5.26 left to go in regulation. 45-37 Hopkinton. Back-to-back -back threes, Mafiori and Cooper. Boy, that's amazing to see the, the just the poise of these Hillers. I mean, they're significant underdogs tonight. And coming into the fourth quarter tied after Grafton made that run in the third, it's impressive to see the quality shots, the good decisions, and the solid all-around play. Well, when it comes to the postseason, the records don't mean a thing. It's about who comes out and plays the best game that given night. And there's still a long way to go in this one, but right now the Hillers leading the first seeded Grafton Indians, 45 to 37, 526 left to go in the fourth quarter. And you know, one thing that Hopkinton does have going for it is a lot of experience. They've got a lot of seniors on this team as opposed to Grafton. The only senior on Grafton Indians is Bradley Palmer. they got a lot of juniors and sophomores logging some minutes here. So let's see if this Hopkinton senior leadership can take them down the final stretch. Grafton will have the entry off the timeout. Elon Rosen put a bucket after bucket to start off this game, but has not scored since there was 5.25 left in the third quarter. But his fellow teammates have come through up to this point. McInerney to Utara, over to the corner, up for three, and it's good. Drew Bergenholtz knocks it down. And here comes Amber Sony. Utara going in for the steal. Surrounded by defenders, gets it out to Finfrock. Down the lane, trying to get it out to Rosen. Regathers off the fingertips Ooh, in. Left hand finger roll, beautiful shot by Finfrock. Over to Upredi, driving in, out to Utara. 
Stripped away by Ambersoni, loose ball, picked up by Upredi. Under five minutes left to play in the game, Hiller's up by seven. Bergenholtz. Feeds it out to McInerney, oh. and we get a whistle before the shot. It's going to be an offensive foul on Bergenholtz. That's his fourth. Yeah, Bergenholtz uh, committed a moving screen violation, and he's frustrated, but uh, he, he pleads to his coach for some explanation, and the coach sort of says, hey, it was what it was. I think that was another good call. I think the officials have done a good job tonight, Tom. I, I you know? have to agree. Yeah. They've been spot on. Obviously, it's a quick moving game. You're going to miss things here and there, but they have been spot on. Great officiating tonight. Amber Sony. Mafiori. 428 and counting left to go in the fourth. Mafiori driving down, stops, oh. pops, and can't finish. Collected by Warner. Oh. And narrowly stolen away by Finfrock, but Utara's there to collect the loose ball. Feeds it over to McInerney, up for three, no good. It'll rattle out. Finfrock with the rebound. Great hustle up court. Amber Sony will take it up. The Hillers are just doing a tremendous job at running the floor tonight. Amber Sony driving in up and good. Using his body. Hits him with the, the off. Hits him with the fadeaway. Collision along midcourt. Up for three, no good there by Bergenholtz. And the official, I think, just missed the collision. Mafiori is down in some pain. Yeah, Mafiori and Utara got uh, tangled up, both trying to run down the floor. And looks like Mafiori's gotten to his feet of his own volition. That's good to see. Certainly hope he's okay. He does have a noticeable limp coming off the court. He'll be checked on by the trainers. 3.46 left to go in the fourth quarter. Hopkinton leading Grafton 49 to 40. And obviously, not having Matt Fiore out there is not what you want if you are the Hillers, but they certainly have a very strong bench. They have many players that could get out there and make an impact on this game, but we certainly hope that Stephen Matt Fiore is okay. The Hillers are going to take a timeout with 3.46 left to go in the quarter. Boy, you love to see the will of Mafiori. You know, he kind of, as he limped to his feet of his own volition, then he goes over to the scorer's table, kind of saying to his coach, hey, coach, I want to go back into that game as soon as I can. You'll love to see that kind of passion and drive. Well, if there's one place he doesn't want to be right now, I can guarantee you it's the bench. Yeah, he, wants he wants to be, to in, be there in there fighting. There. Let's take a look at the Hillers' scoring totals so far. Steven Mafiori with 11 points. Tommy Ambersoni with four. Matt Cooper with five. He came through with a big three in the fourth quarter. Brian Keefe with three, Elon Rosen, a team leading 23. Travis Finfrock with three. So five different point scores for the Hillers, and it's been a while since Rosen scored his last points, but different guys are coming through offensively for Hopkinton. And that's why they have a nine point lead with 346 left to go in regulation. Yeah, and for the Indians, Coach Petritus, he uh, made a, a smart, calculated decision to try to double team Rosen. And uh, it has not paid off because the other Hillers have stepped up and provided offense of their own. And I think what this final three minutes and 46 seconds will come down to, Tom, is can the Hillers convert on their offensive possessions? Because if they do, they can't be caught. The Hillers have outscored Grafton in this fourth quarter so far, 12 to three. Finfrock into Mafiori, who's right back into the game. And it doesn't look like he's shooken up at all. Ambrosoni along the far side. Takes it towards the point, calls it out. Back to Mafiori. Rosen. Over to Cooper. Mafiori now. Mafiori going to drive in. Shot clock running low. Surrounded by defenders. And did he draw a foul? Yes, yes, he did. Yes, he did. And that puts him at the line as the Grafton Indians already have 17 fouls. So a one and one for Mafiori. Foul was against Bradley Palmer. That's his second. On the front end, he knocks it down. It's a big shot. Now you're up double digits. Good concentration. Uh, on the back end of a one and one. Count it. Hillers up by 11, 320 left to go. Boy, Mafiori goes down hard, gets back in the game, and gives them two big points. 
Palmer spins around the defender, up with the right hand, no good. It is a Warner rebound for Grafton, kicks it out to the corner. Palmer for three, no good. Loose ball is going to be collected by Warner. He'll feed it up over to McInerney, and now here comes Utara. Down the lane, around the defender, up off the rim, no good. And then it's stripped out from Warner by mm. Ambersoni. Out of bounds it goes, Grafton basketball. That's three offensive rebounds by Grafton on that, this possession. You, you can't have that if you're Hopkinton. Let's see if they can hold them defensively. Palmer on the entry. Feeds it over to Bergenholtz. Now Utara. Back over to Palmer, driving in. Feeds it back to McInerney. Got away from him, but he regathers. Over to the corner, up for three. No good by Palmer, and we have a whistle. And it looks like a Grafton foul. They're going to get McInerney with his first. Yep, they've committed another moving screen. Uh, they're well coached to, to provide screens for their teammates, but they're moving. Amber uh, Sony tripped up, called for the travel. He just slipped on a, look, appears to be a wet surface there, Tom. Well, it's been a uh, heavily intense game, and it's certainly a little toasty in here, Steve. Yeah, there could be some sweat on the ground making that floor slippery. Bergen holds to Utara. Palmer feeds it into the lane, and we have a foul against the Hillers on Warner. It's going to be against Finfrock. That's his third. And they're not in the bonus yet, so this is a side out of bounds for Grafton. Bergen holds on the entry. Feeds it up top to Palmer. Over to Utara. Out to Warner. Now Palmer. They're taking their sweet time down 11 points with two minutes to go. Yeah, they certainly need some urgency. Palmer drives in around the defender, up with the right hand, and good. That's a big bucket by Palmer. They needed that. First field goal in a long while by Grafton, and now an overthrow oh. by Ambersoni to Mafiori. And all of a sudden, the... Momentum starting to turn a little bit. And we'll have a timeout. 2.13 left to go. The Hillers leading Grafton 51-42. to mm. It will be Indians ball off the timeout. That was a mistake. Even though they had to break the pressure, you want to slow the ball down in every possession if you're Hopkinton. I think that's what Coach Keene is telling them right now. And that was a very wise uh, decision for Coach Keene to make, take that timeout right there, help his guys regroup and say, hey, guys, we're up nine points with two minutes to go. Let's... Remember the fundamentals. Let's take the air out of the ball on the offensive end. Gives our, give ourselves every chance to win this ball game. Well, at minimum, it's a three-possession game in Grafton's case. The Hillers started off this fourth quarter on a roll, outscoring Grafton 12-3. to Palmer knocking down a field goal, and now Grafton will have possession off the timeout after the errant pass up court. We'll see if they can capitalize. And on the next Grafton foul, the uh, Hillers will be in the double bonus, so they'll have two shots the rest of the way. And just a reminder for all the Hillers fans out there, Hopkinton Hillers hockey hits the ice over at the Canton Ice House tomorrow night, a 5.20 p.m. start. They'll be taking on Silver Lake in the first round of the South Division Three sectional playoffs. Silver Lake defeated Holliston in the preliminary round to advance a take on the first seeded Hillers. And we'll certainly be there. Palmer driving in at the block, turns it around. Out to Utara now. Utara steps back, gonna try to take it up the lane around the defender, up and Ooh. in, plus the foul. Big bucket by Utara. That was what his team needed right there. And they get Amber Sony with his third. That is the first field goal for Amara Utara in the second half. They've done a great job on him defensively, but he is stepping up when it counts. On the end one, he knocks it down. It's a six-point Hillers lead. That's five unanswered by the Indians. Amber Sony takes it up. Ambersoni over to Cooper. Back to Ambersoni now. Looking for where to go with it. Going to fire to Finfrock. Ooh. Tip to Rosen, and Rosen finishes. What a beauty of a tip by Finfrock. Best pass of the night, Finfrock, giving his team the lead. Up for I three. Oh. Got it. What a response by McInerney. 
back to a five-point game. Finfrock to Ambersoni. Ooh, he got pushed. And he draws a foul. Yeah. We'll get Bradley Palmer with the contact. That's his third. And that is going to send Ambersoni to the line on one and one. Too early to intentionally foul if you're Grafton. Well, Ooh, yeah. They're giving him two. They're giving him two because that is the 10th team foul on the Indians. And these are huge free throws for Ambersoni. All right. They just, now they've changed it on the scoreboard. There we go. Double bonus time. Big time free throws. Ambersoni two for two from the line so far tonight. There goes the Grafton fans. First of two, no good. A lot of pressure for the young man. Let's see if he can convert here. Second of two, count it. Hiller's up by six. Cool, calm, and collected. 113 and counting, a left to go. Palmer takes it up the air side. Feeds it back to Bergenholz, who drew contact from Mafiori. That's Mafiori's third. Yeah, and Team also. Team six, yep. Oh no, make that the yeah, seventh. Puts them at the line for one and one. I've noticed the scoreboard has a slight delay. <laughs> Drew Bergenholz at the line for a one and one. Drew Bergenholz, who typically averages 13 points a game, has five tonight, but make it six. Hits the front end. And that was a pressure shot by Bergenholz, responding in kind. This game not over yet. Five-point game. To make it a four-point game. Count it. 54 to 50. 107 left to go. Can it get any more suspenseful than this, Steve? Well... I think Coach Keene is, is taking timeouts at the exact right moment. Uh, you've seen uh, the Indians who are down 11. They've cut it to four. Now the Hillers have the ball back, but they've, this is a, I can't overstate how important an offensive possession this will be. If they can convert here, they put a lot of pressure on Grafton. And Grafton, you know, they're such a good team, they're not going to go away without a fight. And they're really putting up one heck of a fight tonight here in this fourth quarter. They certainly are. This game is a ways away from being over, although there's only 107 left in regulation. Certainly a lot of suspenseful moments left to go. And the winner of this game advances to take on the winner of Milford and Westboro. And that game will be on March 3rd at Clark University, a 7.45 p.m. tip-off. That's on Tuesday, next Tuesday. And you wonder if Coach Petritus is telling his Grafton team, hey guys, foul ASAP or play the possession and just try to hold them with good solid defense. Let's see which tact they take here. Well, it's too early for the intentional foul, in my opinion. Finfrock on the entry. And you got to expect the press. Over to Cooper. Back to Finfrock. Finfrock takes it up. Under a minute now, Ambersoni. Ambersoni going to dribble around a little bit, let that clock run down. Shot clock at 15 seconds. Mafiori calling it out. Hillers need to get a shot off soon. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Ambersoni driving in around the defender. Oh, out the window wow. and in. Huge bucket. Two points and they kill 25 seconds off the clock. Palmer driving down. Approaching 30 seconds left to go. Pass to Utara for three. Off the oh. front of the rim, no good. Finfrock with the rebound. Fires it up to Ambersoni, and an intentional foul by Amara Utara. <laughs> Ambersoni heading to the line for two. And Ambersoni at the line for two. If he makes just one of these two shots, he makes it a three possession game with only 25 seconds to go. The Hillers have got to be feeling good right now. He's three for four from the line. So far tonight, four for five. Three possession game. Can he make it an eight point lead? No. Collected by Warner, here comes Grafton. Bergenholz, over to Utara. Back to Bergenholz, back to Utara. Over to the wing to Palmer, and he oh. hits the three! 
And we get a timeout. It's back to a four point Hillers lead. A big three by Bradley Palmer, Palmer for Grafton. Palmer has had some big shots tonight, Tom. You know, he has, uh, he has been, I would say, one of their most consistent players. And that is a pressure shot. And it gives the Grafton Indians just a, a glimmer of hope. But they're still down four with 11 seconds to play. It certainly does. It keeps the, their it keeps their hopes of advancing alive. Oof. But we are down to the final 11.7 seconds before this game comes to an end. What an unbelievable game we have witnessed here today so far. Tom, this has been a great game, and, and you got to credit both teams. I mean, for Hopkinton, they've got to be just on top of the world right now. But they still have to make a couple of key inbounds plays here, and this next one is going to be a big one for them. It certainly will. 11.7 seconds left to go. Hillers 57, Grafton 53. Off the timeout, a Hopkinton inbound. Here we go. Can they finish and upset the first seeded Grafton Indians and advance on to the quarterfinals to take on the winner of Milford and Westboro? Excuse me, it would actually be the semifinals. Over to Ooh. Mafiori, and Mafiori draws the foul. Bergenholtz nearly stripped him in the corner, but Mafiori held on to the ball. That was a close call. Mafiori heading to the line for a pair. Chance to put the game away. Nine seconds left to go. Hiller is up by four. First of two. Good! Mm. Mafiori has been tough as nails today and a big shot. Second of two. Got it! Huge free throws. Hiller is up by six. Over to Utara. Utara going to likely take a three. No, he'll take it to the rack, off the window and in. You needed a three there if you're grafted. That's going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers are going to take down the first seeded Grafton Indians and advance on to the semifinals. A 59 to 55 win over Grafton. Unbelievable. What an effort by the Hopkinton Hillers. Huge upset victory. They played tremendous team basketball today. So many players of the game. Tom, I wouldn't even know who to designate as that uh, title tonight. Well, I think we have to give it to Mr. Clutch, Tommy Ambrosoni, for the way he came through in that fourth quarter. But you're right. I mean, you got to give big credit to Elon Rosen, who was the team leader with 25 points. Finn Frock came through with a number of key rebounds, as well as three points. And then you have Matt Cooper with five points. And Stephen Mafiori, 15 points for the Hillers. I don't think you could pick just one, actually. Just too many contributions and this humongous victory over a very good Grafton Indians team. Boy, you can feel the air go out of this place, too, here in Grafton, Massachusetts. Uh, but as, as disappointed as they may be, you got to credit the, the Grafton Indians on a tremendous year. 18-3 and three they finish at, and uh, I know they're feeling a little bit down right now, but they, they played their hearts out tonight in a losing effort. So the Hopkinton Hillers move on. They'll take on the winner of tomorrow night's Milford and Westboro game on Tuesday, March 3rd at Clark University. Right now it's scheduled for a 7.45 p.m. start time. Congratulations to the eighth-seeded Hopkinton Hillers taking down the first-seeded Grafton Indians, 59 to 55, and certainly a big congratulations to Grafton on a tremendous season. What a win for the Hopkinton Hillers. Let's think. Let's take you through the point totals for Hopkinton. Stephen Mafiori with 15, Tommy Ambersoni with eight, Matt Cooper with five, and then you had Brian Keefe with three. Team leader Elon Rosen with 25, and then you had Travis Finfrock with three. A great team effort by the Hopkinton Hillers here tonight as they get the job done and upset the first seeded Grafton Indians, 59 to 55. Steve, this was a fun one. This was a lot of fun just to watch it and kind of be a part of it. I mean, and. 
unlike many teams that we've seen, Tom, sometimes when you go on the road in the playoffs, it, the, that basket shrinks. It gets really small, and you get kind of tense and uptight. The Hillers came out. They stuck to the fundamentals. They played their game plan in their way. Coach Keene did a remarkable job of coaching. He uh, had a, a man-to-man defense then. When that wasn't quite working so well, he went to his own defense. He coached his team so well tonight, and his players responded by playing their hearts out. Great win. Huge upset by the Washington Hillers. That is great for the Hillers. Big upset. Still four wins to go.